Welp, it's this many days since I recorded the first section of that. I forgot to buy the click wheel assembly, so yay. This guy will finally get a bit of a facelift. Hopefully the... I'm hoping the white, the white for the faceplate and the click wheel are the same. I would really hate if they weren't. <laughs> and then of course the back is just the back and it, it should be fun. Let's grab our weird styrofoam box of tools. Also, if you haven't noticed, I have gotten more sick in the past days, which is good. So if I make any weird noises, just, or if I sound like a nerd and I can't pronounce my ends correctly, then just chalk it up to that. Let's make sure this guy's actually off. You're off. Okay, good. Again, we're looking for the second, the chunk right here that I have completely just, yeah, right there. That chunk right there. Is that, oh, I'm also just going to show the, the clip that I broke on this thing. Hopefully that's just a plastic clip that will be on the back, on the face plate that I can replace easily. This is going to be the fun part, because I'm going to take all this out, and hopefully when I put it back together, it will be fun. Okay, again, fingernail. Easy. There is no more, there is no more of an accurate tool than a fingernail, mind you. Okay, let's see. Was there... A, okay, let me see if there... Yes, okay, I indeed, I indeed did break a, a chunk out of, out of the, the assembly right here. If you can see that top clip right here, and then right here, I definitely broke this. That's why I like getting it from the side right here, because the clips aren't as vulnerable and can't break. If you, again, if you ever try to open these, make sure you get at least the, this right here, and that you don't try to hit this at all, because again, it, it looks really flimsy, and there's a lot of it that's sticking out from the actual metal frame. Alright. This is the first time that I've actually taken this assembly apart. So this is going to be interesting. And again, it, it'd be okay if I lost one. Because as, as, as long as you get the corners of it, you're fine. But I am a perfectionist and need to make sure that I don't lose any screws. Ugh. Okay, that's that side. I think it's only six screws. Three more screws left. Three mass. Come on, don't be... Don't be difficult. Man, I really should not have cut my nails before I did this. You, all right. Oh, where'd it go? Okay, got that one. All right, let's take this off and see if it'll, if it'll actually successfully come off. I have never seen the front of this faceplate. I've seen again. I've seen videos of of, of uh, Wade pulling these apart and what the guts look like, but personally, I have never had any experience taking these apart. Other than the mini, the mini is again really easy to open and just like toss stuff around. Also, update, the mini is now dead. Watch this. Empty folder. Sad folder. I was using this thing fine. I don't know when, but I checked yesterday and it is now dead. It is now showing that empty folder thing and I hate it. Because I, because it was like, it was nuts how it started working again. And now it's not doing that anymore. And it kind of, it makes me sad. I think the most I'd probably have to do is reformat the drive, see how that works. I, this, the music library that I had on here was very small because I'm pretty sure that the amount of songs I was trying to put on it were overloading it, but that, I'm not sure if that's right or not. But if if me formatting the drive again doesn't help, then I don't know. I'm just going to chalk it up to a dead board or something, but oh well. Okay, this, this guy's been a, a bit difficult. Oh, we got something. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Is there adhesive on it? Was there adhesive on this? Oh, okay. That grommet is the adhesive stuff. Gotcha, alright. Wow. This board looks a lot cooler than the mini. Uh, ugh. Yeah, I'll probably take the screen out. I'm thinking about that now. That might be a good idea. Alright, uh... Just pull... Oh, okay. Alright. Okay. Well, this gra this gra yeah, the grounding point. Yeah, I almost forgot the grounding point. I'm not really sure how to get that off. Sort of pull it from the cord, possibly. I hope. God, I hope. Well, I don't. I really don't have to worry about this one because I'm replacing it anyways. Yep, that works. All right. Where should we look? 
Oh, I don't know how, how much I'm going to push on this. Oh, wait, okay. All right. Okay, all right. Oh, we got another grounding point. Okay. Woo! Wait, right, unless this is just... No, I think, yeah, this is a grounding point. Uh, I don't want to... I don't want to destroy this thing. Uh. Ah! Well, is that going to be an, is that going to be an issue? Oh, I hope not. Well, this apparently was made June, June twelfth, oh five. Wow, that's nuts. Ah, uh, crap. I'm not going to be able to attach that again, am I? Actually, I want to check if if that's if it still works with that ground with that weird point not on there anymore. All right, okay. Rock box is booting. Okay. I guess the grounding point wasn't needed. It sucks that that that, that happened though. Is that an antenna? Hopefully, it was just. A weird antenna or something, but I'll probably put some capped on tape on that just to make sure it's not hitting anything weird. All right, now hopefully let's not let's make sure that we don't ruin this and have patience, unlike I did. Okay, okay, I got that out. Let's get this bit out. Okay. Woo! All right, click wheels out. This, this frame is so cool. I'm trying to see if there were any posts or anything on these. They ground it off. Oh. Because I know it was. It, it definitely looks injected molded. Or injection molded. But like maybe. Maybe these these tabs right here are the bit that they ground off. That's just. That's crazy ingenuity for that stuff, dude. They really could have cheapened out and gotten a plastic frame. But they didn't. Not sure why. I guess because it's a high quality product and it needed to reflect the price point, but whatever. Okay, I don't think that. You guys can only see a small section of my desk, but right now it is calamity. This honestly looks what like what a thumbnail would look like if it had, or like an I Spy book, honestly. I spy with my little eye a resistor. Oh no. No, I, I really hope I didn't pop anything off the board. That would make me so sad. It looks all right. It's a it's a good test click wheel at least. Now we get to the fun part. Hmm? The Brappy Patty secret formula. All right, let's click. Let's get the click wheel out of the case, so it's not a pain in the butt. Yeah, that button does look like it's not all that good. I like the graininess of it though. Maybe, maybe where the did, okay. So, if this were a stock click wheel that hadn't been used, would it have like a grainy plastic texture on it, or would it be smooth? Just curious. My my skin grease will probably get rid of that in a couple months or though, or so. So, and hopefully the text on this doesn't come off. That would really suck. But I think it looks it looks okay. The the weird lines where it was probably stamped or rolled on or laser etched in. There's a bit of smudginess around the edge of it. But I think if at a at a quick glance you're not gonna think. Oh god, that text doesn't look sharp enough. It's not an original click wheel. You're just gonna think, oh, iPod click wheel. Oh, cool. Okay, where are we going with this? Right. I'm not sure if I'll use it. I'm not sure if I'll use adhesive for this. I probably won't. But I'll just, I'll just, I'll just, I'll, I'll mess around with it and see how it works, if it's worth it or not. It pulls up on the board while it's in there, so I can, yeah, we'll probably have to adhesive it. I'll just put Capton tape on it, that should be fine. Just heal off the broken wounds with Capton. At least they won't be conductive. We don't need wounds being electronically conductive. Probably won't be taking this click well out again, so. Yeah, I, it, it's holding all right. Probably not as well as it should, but that works, that's okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, let's get the frame back on. 
Uh, is the ground... Eh? There's something not right about this. Is there? Yes? Am I, am I, am I just paranoid? Probably. Should have make sure that pushes down well enough. I'd prefer to have an adhesive promoter or something like that on this. But you know what? You know what might fix this? Capped on tape. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nope. Uh, capped on tape might not work. That's okay. Just putting it there just to protect everything. You know, you can never have too much protection on these on these these chunks right here. It's always good to have more capped on tape. Capped on tape saves everything. Wait, hold up. Ah, uh, yeah, right. I forgot. This guy's fidgety. It doesn't like staying in place. Okay, menu's on top. Good. Okay. Oh, we forgot the screen. Oh my god, that was so close. Jesus Christ, I almost forgot the screen. Don't forget your screen, kids. Screen is now in place. And now the clip will fill out. Okay. That should all be in. Oh, wait. I forgot to take off the rubber bit on the faceplate. Uh... Yep, that's good. All right. Come on, guy. Where are we going here? Yeah, I'm seeing where the clips aren't really attaching too well because of that bit of foam. But you know what? I'm going to do my best not to have to remove it. Because I don't want to. Now let's see if we can get these screws in. Hopefully. Yep, it's right where the rubber stuff's at. Come on, go in. Oh, come on. You're so close. You're so close. It's probably this one that's this one right here is gonna be the only one that's gonna be disagreeable. Okay, that one went in a, a bit rough. Okay, that's that back together. Let's get a drive in it and see if it actually works. Not gonna worry about the headphone assembly yet, because I've gotta at least test that this thing's working. There's no weird pressure on the board near that adhesive area that I put down, which was probably a bad idea, but oh well. Beggars can't be choosers, eh? That's odd. Maybe I didn't put the drive in all the way. So notice that uh, there's a bit of leeway with the the actual connector. You can push. The, you can push this the longer bit in all the way if you're careful, and it seemed like that helped a bit. Not sure if you guys are seeing that or not, but it's pushing it ever so slightly. Okay, let's run this off a of firewire just so I don't have to worry about having to plug it in and put a battery in it. And if it tries to boot, it should be fine. Okay, it's booting. Okay. Up oh, and it, it's up. All right. Click wheel is working fine, but it's it's working fine. The, it, whenever, if you ever have issues with drives being weird, like half working, just do your best to get the pins all the way in, just like sort of smut, like nudging them in on both sides. Because again, it worked for me, and that's why I don't like taking this th this thing apart. Because I have to be really careful about the plastic edge on this thing. Because I don't want to. I don't want to push through and mess with one of the traces on both sides. But it's working. That's good. Let's get this bit of protective tape back in here. On this section right here, so there's not, nothing touching the board. Even though there's nothing on the back of this, other than the company logo. But I just, I just do it just for... Just because I'm paranoid. And it gives, like, the, ti the, the tiniest bit of cushion on the board. Just so it's not an issue. And also, if you have noticed, I'm a bit mixed-handed. It's not, it's not ambidextrous. Mixed handedness is an autism thing. And it's, it, it's really confusing because at my job, I can't tell my lefts from li rights and I have to remind myself every single time. Why does this, why does this seem like it wants to, uh, do I have this on backwards? I shouldn't have it on backwards. I don't think I, uh, yeah, uh, let me check. Nope, I don't have it on backwards, all right. Huh, <sighs> Okay. See, everything is going good so far. I just broke off the trace of the click wheel area on the board. Uh, I may have added a bit too much adhesive backing to the grounding point for the click wheel itself. But other than that, I think we're going pretty smoothly here. Okay, that's in. 
Let's get this back in. Battery. Let's just see if this thing actually works. This one might be too far. Yeah, it's, it's pushing on. Okay, we gotta move these coins down a bit. Or up a bit. Ah, okay. That adhesive is nuts! Yeah, I'm not gonna use that for the coins. That's, that's gonna be murder. I'd rather use putty. I'm using silly putty. It's the same thing as blue tech. Yeah. I'm not going to use too much because I noticed that when I, whenever I took apart my, my when I did this before in the, in the old one, there would be a lot of the putty around the edge and some of it was actually on the board. So I'll try to use a smaller amount this time. Okay, we found out its weakness. It doesn't like alcohol. Neither do I. Not that I'm legally able to drink. I just don't like the idea. Yeah. Stay pure. Okay, let's see if that works. Do we now have room to, to chuck everything in here? Is it the battery? What What is it? What is it pushing up against? What? What's doing this? What is it? I don't know what it is. Uh, it's it's got to be the it's got to be the quarters. It's most definitely the quarters. It of it. Oh God! Why are you on? Why are you on? I've thought about it, and just the just trying to trick myself into thinking, oh, there's a hard drive in here. When I honestly know that there's not a hard drive in here, it's just it's pointless. All right, all the clips are in. Okay. Oh, I hated that. Let's just see the comparison real quick. Let's see the comparison. Old case. Okay. Looks good. Beaten up. No one would want to steal this. Yeah, uh, someone's definitely going to steal this one. <laughs> and now I've got to buy a hard case for this thing because I know that once, once I mess around with it, it's going to get like five scratches in the span of a minute. It's got the 256 gig mark on it. Now let's see if it'll actually turn on. Oh, that whole button feels a lot better. Okay. Yeah, I definitely like how that feels. I, li I like how the, the grittiness feels. Although we've got to get there's some gunk inside of this for some reason. Yeah, I think I think that's it. Here's now the custom slash stock iPod. Ish. Oh yeah, I got to turn this thing on again and see if it'll actually work. You gonna work? Nope. Alright, okay. That's okay. <sighs> Hope you guys enjoyed. This is... I'm probably never gonna do this again. Because I... I hated doing this. This was so... So, 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 so stressful. Like you cannot believe. Hi, sproing. How does my iPod look? <laughs> you don't really care. <laughs> I'm assuming you don't care, do you? Okay, I'll leave you alone.